Captain Charlie K. Babe. Welcome to another Sex Talk Tuesday with your trulies, your favorite girl, Charlie Cakes. I know I have not filmed a Sex Talk Tuesday in a while and I've been gone for a little bit. There's some reasoning behind that, some good shit. But um, yes, we will be doing another Sex Talk Tuesday today. You know, we always keep it short, cute, simple, and sweet. But our topic today is, can you have a successful whole phase? Okay, so... I will see you guys in the next slide and we finna get into it. And wait, oh, hold up. Take a second. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you share to a friend and comment if you would like to leave a comment. All right, I'll see you guys in the next slide. Okay, y'all. So here we are. Let's get into today's topic of can you have a successful whole phase? And just straight up my opinion, yes and no, you can have a successful whole phase because there's just a lot of different paths you can pick and no, you don't have to pick that. Let me have a whole phase route. That's your choice. But if you want to go through a whole phase and you want to try different things, meet different people, have different sex partners or call it a whole phase, whatever phase you want to call it. I'm going to tell you why, what's the yes and no's, and the basically the pros and cons about whole phases, and is that the path you may want to go through, or can you have a successful, successful one, period. So, I wrote down, y'all know my good old notes for my Sex Talk Tuesdays. I be writing, y'all, like, no shit. <laughs> I be writing, okay? So, for my first yes, you can have a successful whole phase. I put, um, by having a successful whole phase, you want to protect yourself, you know, when you're having sex. So, you want to make sure you're protecting yourself from STIs, STDs, and different things like that. So, make sure you are using protection and um, make sure you're asking the partner, whoever you're sexing with or sexing, what their status is or have they been checked or have they been tested. So, I feel like that's the first start of having a successful whole phase. Um, another way to have a successful whole phase is talking about your sexual desires and sexual wants. Not, uh, I guess, off the, the, you know, the bat because if you're going on a whole phase, I'm pretty sure you're not waiting a month to fuck this person. Oops, I can't say fuck on YouTube. I got to bleep that up. You're not waiting a whole month to have sexual, you know, intercourse with this person so i would say right off the bat ask them what do you like what do you not like so you can not be wasting your time to see if you guys like the same stuff because if y'all are not liking the same things what's the point of going through the whole phase with this person if you guys do not have some of the the most like similar sexual desires you would say or if they're open to maybe trying some new things and you guys try that together that's something that you can do. And um, what did I also put? Yes, I did talk about having that open conversation, you know, about status. That is very fucking important. Please, please, please do not feel ashamed. Do not feel weirded out. Like, oh my gosh, I have to ask them what is this, what's their status or if they tested. Yes, we're grown as fuck. Nigga, when did you get checked? Have you got checked? Okay. Um, another way I said no, you cannot, it's like, and uh, the thing is, I don't want to say no, you can't have a successful whole phase, but if you don't want to like, you know, talk to multiple partners and hoe out, you can go down the path of, you know, either being single by yourself and, you know, going within shadow work and working on yourself and, um, the same things you would do with a, a partner in a relationship or couple, you can do with yourself. So just like you go on a date with your significant other or sex partner, or whatever, do that within yourself if you don't want to go through a whole phase and attract that same partner you would want if that's the phase that you are ready for in life. If you're ready for that phase in life to find the person you want, Basically, how to attract the things you want, you have to do that to yourself first. You can't attract these things and you're not doing it nowhere in your life. There's no way in hell that's going to happen. So you're saying, I want a nice guy and you're actually not really a nice girl. How are you going to attract a nice guy if, number one, you're not a nice person to other people nor to yourself? So that is not a way that you're going to attract people. So attract what you want while you are waiting 
for this person if you do not want to go through your successful whole phase. But to get to the end of all of it, I definitely feel like as men and women, we can definitely have a successful whole phase. Now, I know another question would be, do you feel like men have more successful whole phases or do women have more successful whole phases? And that would be another video where I would get some friends to come on or some males and some females to come on to see who has the most successful whole phases. I feel in my opinion, opinion from my guy friends, I feel like men, they probably have really good whole phases because, you know, they say men do not get emotionally attached with a fucking boy. But they say men do not get emotionally attached. And then they say women, we do get emotionally attached. But in my opinion, from my experience, when I've had my successful whole phase, I did not get attached. I was having the time of my life, made sure I protected myself. You know, had some fun and kept it pushing. And so I feel like people can have a successful whole phase. But like I said, if you do not want to go down that route and you are ready to find the love of your life, take that time to all the things that you want in that person, attract it back into yourself so that can attract to you and you to manifest that man up. So if you guys want me to do a video how to basically manifest your lover or your partner or prepare yourself to have that person come in your life, let me know if you guys want me to do a video on that. Because, you know, I did some things to attract my blue. And it's just so crazy how you can put things down and you try to, and you, when you put your all to everything, everything comes to you because you're really, attracting that shit and you're working hard towards it so whatever you put that energy towards honey it's gonna come to you but i hope you guys enjoyed the sex talk tuesday if you guys want this to be longer let me know and i have a lot of great topics coming for you guys i really love this can a whole phase be successful because i'm excited to get different people to come on and get their opinion i know most of the dudes there are guys are going to be like, no, women cannot have a successful whole phase because um, you guys catch feelings and you get emotional with the person. And I'm just like, well, men do the same thing because I've definitely been through some whole phase shit where the dude knew I was on whole phase shit and still caught feelings. And I'm like, well, whose fault is that, sir? Yours. I told you what's up. So, yes, let's always, it's still up in the air thing. Not on my side, but when I get the group of people, we're going to see the ending result of can a whole thing be successful. So, thank you guys for watching my Sex Talk Tuesday. It felt so, I know I keep um, getting ready to start talking again. It felt so weird to film today because it's my first time filming in like a month or two. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next week for another Sex Talk Tuesday. Make sure you guys keep a lookout for my Cooking with Charlie Cakes and some other videos. If you guys have any requests of videos that you would like me to do that's in my room of things that I do, please let me know. And make sure you like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys. Bye, Charlie Cakes, babes. Peace out. Girl Scout. And see you later.